guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and yes, I am back with a bang from the break. Rather long one, but I'm so glad that I took this break. So, so needed it was. However, I am so, so glad that I'm back, back to you guys, back to my cards and my reading sessions. And this one's for the sign of Aries for the first week of August, first to the 7th. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, of course. And guys, please remember, these are general reading times. Fluid energies can be reversed, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. Aries, we're going to look into the challenge that's going to present itself, the advice and the possible outcome. We're going to clarify all of that and wrap up the reading with an Oracle guidance message. We need to do one more shuffle and then we are all set to go. All right. I'm using the good tarot for the spread and for the oracle guidance message. I'm using the energy oracle deck. The challenge for my Aries that might present itself for this week, spirit. Challenge for... Ooh, too many, too many. What am I supposed to do? Take them all, I am told. Am I shuffling this the other way around? Yes. All right. Four of Earth, Page of Earth, Ten of Fire. There's something that we need to let go of. Yeah. With that Ten of Wands, there is something that we need to you know, burn away, so to say. Something from the past that we've been holding on to. It's standing in the challenge, remember that. Four of Earth and the Page of Earth. This is what we want. This is what we seek. A new beginning of sorts that is going to give us a sort of grounding that is going to allow us to move forward with a certain level of stability in life all of that standing in the challenge right now what is the advice for my Aries spirit the advice i hear this is very much possible the reason why we are not able to get started is because we are standing in our own path with whatever we are holding on to from the past we need to release my god so many cards popping up for you aries we have the four of fire we have the five of air and we have the star beautiful the four of fire is all about long term the four of fire is blessings i hear you see right here the five of air it's a very delicate balance that you are right now maintaining it's like you know the act of life that's so bloody tricky but you are doing all that you can or you are told that do whatever you can whatever you cannot don't focus on that but whatever you can at least do it to the best of your ability look the same string I see right here with these lanterns that what seems really really tough at this point in time is what is going to illuminate your path that is going to be more like blessing coming in for you your guides are very much around you I see this fairy sitting on a fairy stone and star is also to do with, you know, divine blessings coming your way. This whatever that you have been put through in life, in the past, has prepared you for what is going to come in the future. Even if you don't see it like that at this point in time, you need to look at it from that positivity because clearly there is a juggle going on you need to let go of this past grudge i hear there's something you need to release and if we do that 
and go along with the game called life and keep this balance this delicate balance what is the possible outcome right here is the possible outcome ace of air clarity see that's what i'm saying you would gain that clarity as to why it happened the way it happened king of air and the call that's judgment right there yeah you will see the very tricky way life and divine works there would be a sense of purpose there would be a sense of i know why it happened the way it happened what happened you are told to go along with this trapeze act and have that inner knowing that whatever is happening is happening for your good and you would eventually see it you are told to hold on to hope let us clarify 10 of fire page of earth and four of earth spirit please clarify why do we have the 10 of fire the page of i'm told stop this is it okay ten of swords listen this is something that we are holding on whether it is some kind of a burden a past pain that someone else caused us or the circumstances were so that you felt really really you know down to the ground you need to let go of that you need to see it through a lens of hope whatever life is throwing at you at this point in time because there is clearly something new coming in with that page of earth and the four of earth but we are as i said standing in between our own path we are like that big boulder of insecurity that we have created on our own path we need to let go of that whether it is an old contract because I see a lot of papers being burned here whether it is marriage I hear wow okay yeah I see documents and this feels like like divorce papers ouch this is not for many this is for a few maybe just one or two who's listening to this but life has got something new to offer and the past pain and the burden of whatever this experience was it is time for you to drop it and how do we go about that spirit let's go to the advice now star four of fire and five of air why do we have four of fire five of air and the star wow five of swords with the five of swords coming in together that inner conflict that you have you've been told again and again that know that whatever this challenge was that came in life came with a purpose came with a purpose to teach you this very very delicate act this very very delicate balance that you had to maintain in life and once you learn that the path is going to be illuminated for you your angels are with you they are having your back at every step of the way guiding you there is hope so don't fight it don't fight it because of whatever happened in the past that inner conflict needs to be looked through lens of hope for the future rather than through that broken lens of the past that brought so much of pain and burden and if we do that we see that very very clearly what life taught us we need to look at the future with a sense of hope through that sense of love and not fear we need to meet the fear with the equal amount of love to nullify that insecurity 
queen of swords and the king of swords coming in together i am feeling really for someone that this is divorce and we need to get over with the pain that you guys caused each other queen of swords and the king of swords coming in together these two energies are extremely strong headed and this is the only couple in tarot that is separated five of wands understand that whatever this clash was you guys were there in each other's life to teach each other this lesson and that's about it this time to end this conflict it's a very clear call that it's time to put a full stop to this is there anything else for the advice my god i am so surprised with the way the clarifiers have come in very very to the point no nonsense magician you hold that magic to make your future as hopeful as you want it to be as positive as bright as clear as passionate as you want it to be there is a lot of hope that awaits you so don't stand in between yourself and hope don't be the boulder on the path of your own happiness my god intense aries very intense let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading final word for my aries spirit final word for my aries to wrap up this week okay attachment yeah that past whatever and this could be very much attachment to anger i hear or disappointment or fear or ego whatever it is or even a toxic relationship whatever that is it is time to let go of that action yes it is time to take action you need to break these chains right here you need to break these chains to take that final call and move forward away from this conflict towards hope let me read this out for you i'm told first read attachment and then action in the upright position this card reveals that your passage forward is being stopped by strong attachments to old parents or people from the past the chain at your wrist is bolted to fear from the past or desperation about the future although you may wear the mask of pretense or even contentment you simply can't seem to go forward exactly this is not that you don't have the chance to move forward this is you pulling yourself down or you standing in your own way the stuff that's keeping you stuck could be physical addiction emotional pattern or even old relationships are you living in fear addicted to old unhealthy habits or so desperate about the future that you can't be happy now if so the chains that bind you could be of your own making this card is telling you that it's time to take action oh look it is time to take action yes so beautifully coming together for you guys thank you so much spirit for reconfirming it you need to break out of your chains and move forward to an open free healthy and authentically happy life and you are told that there is hope that this lesson very delicate balance that you had to create you had to learn it the hard way but there is hope for future yes it may take some courage and effort to let go but know that you are capable of doing it until you do so the difficult energy will just repeat itself keeping you stuck until you do so that is where you are gonna be once you learn that you can be chilling on that fairy rock fairy stone whatever you want to call it let's read action 
it is time for you to take action it is time for you to break those chains in your head and heart and move forward and you know get a closure of sorts this card tells you that now is the time for a more aggressive forward movement the galloping horses represent intentional and concerted action directed to your goals this card upright indicates that you are on the right track but your determined efforts must increase the white horse is the inner action of spirit and thought the black is the outer work that still needs to be done so continue taking action and trust your intuition in time you will break through and see the results you have been working so hard to create this is not an easy act people to learn this it takes years and years of practice but once you learn it you can chill the f right that's what you are told you can chill and you can make things happen whatever you want can come true but you need to believe in your inner strength and take that responsibility that comes along with your own actions or inactions and be in tune with your emotions it's all right if you feel vulnerable or down or whatever but it is time to face them and release them acknowledge them face them release them and on that note aries i'm gonna take your leave i thank you all for joining me this week it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods